with diligent parents and a wise grandma helping out, is this family on the fast track to success? San Joaquin kit foxes can never afford to drop their guard. Being a protected species doesn't always vouch for their safety. They bed down to rest, but footsteps haunt their dreams. There's a man outside the den. They can sense that something is wrong, but what? They're being buried alive. 29 Eyewitness News at 6. Several animals on the endangered species list found dead in Northeast Bakersfield. Alexia Capinera is joining us live. Alexia. Well, Don, that's right. A litter of kit foxes have been found. Their bodies are now being uncovered behind me. Now, this is a crime scene, a federal crime scene, because these species are on the endangered species list. I'm joined right now by Brian Seifer with the Endangered Species Recovery Program. What can you tell us about this? We're not exactly sure what happened yet. Uh, we just learned this morning that this den complex had been covered over. There's a dead pup in there. Within hours, the site has become a media circus. Animal welfare officers work tirelessly to rescue survivors. But it's too late. As the body bags are removed, reporters press the biologists for facts about the crime. It's a federal offense to kill kit foxes without a special right, permit. Exactly uh, individually, the penalties range up to one year in prison and or a maximum fine of, I believe it's $100,000. The family's brutal death causes a public outcry. The people of Bakersfield are shocked. We have not. Investigation reveals the motive for killing was to tidy a shopping mall car park. Six bodies were recovered, two adults and four pups. What's happened to the others? Were they all lost? A fox, it's ginger. And grandma too, the sole survivors. A senseless waste of life and a blow to an endangered species. The perpetrators are given nothing more than a $500 fine. The two females reassure each other. Their nursery and den sites seem very quiet tonight. They set off on their usual routines. Ginger constantly checks for signs of her brothers and sisters. They seem lethargic, perhaps pining for their family. Then out of the blue, it's Fred. Fred had gone exploring. His independent nature saved him from an untimely death. Grandma is now sole guardian to the orphaned pups. Teaching them survival skills is more important than ever. The lessons resume immediately. Time to hunt.
Fred's first kill represents a major leap towards his independence. He's well ahead of Ginger, who remains dependent on Grandma. 